So Pulse 3D, PLS 3D is the Stronghands 3D contract. Uh, it is an original design and re-inspired re version of the Hourglass contract. Basically, uh, if you are aware of P3D or Proof of Weak Hands out there, uh, originally created by Team Just back in around 2019 time, we basically grabbed that contract, we ripped out the admin features of it, we ripped out the, the ambassador features, and we made it into a 100% ownerless, permissionless, and uh, completely resigned, renounced contract. Um, so basically how it works is uh, when you deposit into the contract, you get 3D tokens. Um, you can redeem those 3D tokens at any time, uh, as in sell them, and uh, you can claim the, uh, the currency out of the middle of the contract as well. The price of 3D tokens goes up and down, just like any regular token. But the key difference here is that all of the buying, selling, the trading, everything else of this token is done in the core contract itself, right there on the website. It doesn't follow ERC-20, so it's not like a regular token out there that you'd see on deck screener or something like that. Instead, all of the action happens right here on our website. Um, so basically, yeah, like I said, uh, people deposit in, price goes up, people withdraw, price goes down. The supply is not inflationary or deflationary. It is elastic in that it inflates and gets minted when people deposit in and it burns off again when people sell. So it's directly responsive to the demand uh, created by the people. Um, so it's adjusting or elastic supply. Um, yeah, so basically on every deposit and withdrawal into the contract and out of the contract, there is a 10% fee that is uh, taken. That 10% fee is distributed between everybody that is holding 3D tokens proportionate to their share of the supply. So that means that if you're holding, say, 10% of the supply, then you'll be making 10% of all the fees that are gathered from people coming in and going out of the contract. Um, basically, you have two choices with your earnings. You can either compound them, which is to uh, reinvest them into more 3D tokens, or you can hit the claim button and you can have the money, the uh, underlying base added directly to your wallet, right? So uh, basically, that's also how sales work as well, is what the, uh, when you sell your 3D tokens, um, the value goes to your earnings section, and then you can hit the claim button, and again, you'll have the money directly in your wallet. Now, uh, the deposits do have a 3% referral program on them, so you can actually uh, get a bonus for bringing other people into the program as well. So uh, when you uh, refer someone and they use your link, you get three of the 10% that is taken on deposits. So that 10% fee, uh, think of it like 10 pieces. There's three of those that go to the referrer. The other seven are still broken uh, between the other holders proportionately as is normal. Um, finally, there is the price floor contract, which is attached to the hourglass that was released at the same time as deployment of the core contract. And basically what it does is it holds 3D tokens, it earns dividends just like any other regular holder, but it can never sell or withdraw or anything else. It can only compound its earnings into more 3D tokens. So the effect that this one has is basically a rising floor price that can only ever keep growing with added volume on the core contract. So what that basically means is that with every buy or sell or whatever transaction incurs a fee, this price floor gets even stronger. And so obviously the floor price keeps on going up and to the right, just like we want any chart to do. So people will experience fluctuation in price as normal when, when people buy and sell, the 3D price goes up and down like any normal token, as I said. But that floor price does ensure that with added volume and with continued time in operation of the contract, that uh, it, the price will appreciate as well. Uh, the contract is 100% admin powerless. There is no admin controls or ownership or anything like that. The liquidity is 100% locked, can only be accessed by those that hold 3D tokens. Um, and uh, that's the way it's going to stay. There is no way that anyone could stop our contracts or alter them. Uh, even in the case of, of uh, having a gun to one of our admins' heads, there is absolutely zero way that anything could be altered. The only way that our contracts can be stopped is literally by someone killing the entire blockchain on which the contracts are operating on. Uh, they operate on five different chains. Pulse Chain is the primary focus, but we do operate also on BNB, Phantom, Kronos, and Matic. Um, and we do have ex plans to expand to future chains as well. So uh, yeah, basically that's Stronghand 3D in a nutshell. It's a time classic that's been reworked into, like I said, a, uh, a more fair and uh, completely renounced uh, contract for everybody to participate in. Uh, no. 
No sacrifice. No. Oh, absolutely. Like, we've got a lot of people out there who could easily be hurt by the fact that they have no idea how to read the code or anything like that. And so like, anything that they can sort of grasp onto that gives them that that safety or, or surety that maybe they're putting their money in a good place. I can, I can totally understand why doxing would certainly help in that in that respect. Um, like I said, I prefer not to. I'll dox I'm, you personally. I'm, definitely... I'm, the, I'm the other dev. I'll dox you personally if that helps. Uh, as long as I yeah. can just dox you and no one else. I was about to say, if it does help at all, then I do privately dox to other project leaders. Uh, if you know Crypto Black Sheep at all, um, he actually knows me at a personal yeah. level. Um, you know, I, if you've ever seen ENJ Gold in here, he also can speak to my location uh, and knows where I am. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm just speaking to the fact that I am privately doxed to other community leaders, but okay. in general, I do try to keep my identity as, <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? But we're, we're a little different. Look, I, I come from the corporate world. I've been in automation since 2008. I've worked for Alcoa, Bank of New York Mellon, Mortgage Connect, uh, Electronic Research Technology, uh, a lot of big names. And uh, I, I uh, my company went out of business recently, so I'm I'm applying my my full knowledge and ability to blockchain with Donnie. So th this is a little bit of a of a different project than what you're used to. We're not, you know, we're not some meme coin with uh you know with a WordPress template. Uh, we're we're building an enterprise level application. Uh, and and we we have big plans. And it doesn't cost a lot, so uh, it's not a money grab. We're we're truly about the technology, so we're we're not we're not too worried. You know, it's like we we have this project. You know, we're we're releasing this this web app that we rebuilt from nothing, and uh, we're going to deliver quality to a space that has suffered because there just isn't a lot of quality. If there was, you wouldn't be so concerned, right? So no, it's like, yeah, we understand. We understand, man. We do. Yep. Yeah, Strongest Protocol has existed ever, ever since uh, February 2022. Yeah, that, that's when I just showed up. And, like, this was born out. Donnie used to code live in the DGEN protocol. You know, Donnie was, like, coding live. And, I, and I, like, I watched the way he coded. And I was like, oh, wow, he knows what he's doing. Okay. You know? Um and then one day he was just like, "Hey, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fork Uniswap," and then he did it. And then Strong Hands was born, you know. And it's it's been a couple iterations of, uh, you know, whatever technology we could get to. We stood up a, a Dex on on Kronos, but Kronos was a dying chain at the time, uh, so it didn't go too far. But we we did we uh, Donnie did put out some NFTs that did pretty well. Uh, and then we, we migrated those to BSC and then we stood up a DEX on the on BSC as well and some farms. But uh, you know, in a bear market everything's everything's hard to do. Uh, uh but so we decided, hey, we're gonna put these three D contracts on as many chains as we can. And uh you know, Pulse Chain really hit because we were one of the first. And Pulse Chain really showed what what our our technology can do. Uh, you you can watch on you know you can look on chain and see what happened with uh, with Pulse 3D, and what happened with Pulse 3D that'll happen anywhere as long as there's enough interest. Um, it, it 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 just it goes up. You know it's. Uh, it's something different. It's it's like, and Donna, you should take over because I don't know this as good yeah. as you. I just learned, I learned by watching. Yeah, you. for sure, it's, man. It's like single asset staking, right? You you go ahead and explain the rest. Yeah, for sure. So basically, it, it's like those single asset staking pools out there, um, you know, where you can obviously stake your tokens in, but instead of earning any sort of like reward token, rather you're just earning more of the same asset, right? And it applies the same sort of game theory as, uh, well, yeah, I mean, it, it's like single asset staking meets a regular token, right? And for that, it's a 
cross between the two technologies, right? It, the representative unit of your shares goes up and down in price as people deposit and withdraw, right? And they, the rewards for that are generated from the fees that are collected, right? So as you hold these tokens that look like tokens but are in fact shares, you know, you're earning of those fees, right? And so basically what the job will be now once these contracts are out there is to build more utility which feeds more of that base token or base currency into the contract that so it's not dependent on user deposits and withdrawals, if that makes sense. Um, so basically, yeah, it acts like single asset staking on one side, but then it also has the behaviors of a token. And uh, yeah, realistically, that's that's all there is to it. Frankly, the way that I see it is, you know, when people are looking for people to be doxxed or, you know, wondering who's behind the code, it, it really just sort of speaks volumes to me that they really don't comprehend what DeFi actually means, you know, that they use it as a buzzword to sell their next shit coin, you know, DeFi quite literally meaning no owner, no operator, no anyone. You, you look at the code and the code tells you that, you know, people, we've been all the way up to, I think it was 230 people. And then I ended up starting to remove people that um, we actually went through a phase by the end of last year where trying different projects and trying to take off with different ideas. We ended up removing a bunch of people out of, out of our telegram that hadn't said words in like ever, right? We removed everybody that right. never sent a message. We removed everybody that was older than last seen within a week. And uh, we got taken back down to like 84 people. So from 84 people and then launching Pulse 3D as our fifth contract, it's roared all the way up to 600. And all of this right here, the only marketing or advertising we've ever paid for thus far is $1,000 to get on pulseburn.com as a sponsor. That's it. The oh, rest oh, has oh, been wow. purely oh, organic growth by our people.